here we are at the finale. Or should I say, finally, huh? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't write this stuff. If you recall, the long journey to the Vault of the Traveler actually began by accident. Atlas's gorgeous robot was designed to not only summon the Vault of the Traveler, it was also meant to deal with the complications of entering the Vault. Two unlikely Vault Hunters began to assemble it, but one component remained out of reach on a Hyperion space station. Pressed into service by the local crime lord, they concocted a plan to sneak aboard. The corporate lackey had access to inside information, but he didn't dare reveal his source. An old rival provided a priceless disguise, <laughs> while new allies helped cobble together a rummage sale lady, rocket you're ship. Gonna have yourself a rocket. Once again, tempting fate, they flung themselves into space. Indeed, they would have died up there were it not for the sacrifice of a noble soul. Finally aboard the space station, the salaryman found himself contending with his ambitious former accomplice. But time was short, and he was very busy, so he referred her to his assistant. Working together, the con artist and the salaryman managed one last miracle and acquired the final Cortis component. But just then, Handsome Jack offered the salaryman everything he had ever wanted. How could he possibly refuse? them in one of the cells for questioning. Look at the three of us living a life of crime. <sighs> what are you in for? They caught me at one of the security checkpoints. all know about the plan. We intercepted your comms. So... Oh, cool! So we don't have to explain it! Where's Reese? That asshole electrocuted me and ran. So as you can imagine, I'm really looking forward to finding him. He's your president now, didn't you hear? Why don't you tell us? We're not leaving here until I start getting some answers. What the hell is that? Get them into the cell. Hey, President Asshole, what's taking so long? Reese! What is going on up there? Let's get dirty! I can't believe it. What, that you're finally in charge? Don't be surprised, kid. I mean, not to sound like a frickin' shampoo commercial here, but you deserve it because you killed a lot of people to get here. But listen, I know where you're coming from. A little imposter syndrome's normal when you basically just become a god. But don't listen to that little voice inside your head telling you you're not good enough, all right? Just, it's strength. Just hard enough to get a Rodney and then move on. Okay, I don't get it. Why me? Well, partly because you slammed me into your left temple a while ago, but mainly because you're kind of a badass kid. You survived Pandora, you survived Helios, and you never let anything get in the way of what you wanted. Kind of reminded me of myself, actually, at your age. This is a perfect partnership, Reese. You trusted me, I trusted you, and now we're here. And never really had a partner I could count on before. Feels kind of dope. But enough talking, am I right? It's time for you to make your first command as president, Reese. You gotta project power. You gotta project vision. 
but you also want to convince the toadies that you care about them. That's important. Yeah, uh, how exactly do I do that? Oh, that's such a good question. You are on the ball today, Reese. Here, given the current corporate landscape, there's three big changes you could make right here, right now. Which one's it gonna be? Um, kinda hungry. Could go for a pepperoni pizza? You got it! Wow, that was fast. It's good, right? No, oh, 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 that just smells like happiness and garlic. Oh, I need this inside me right now. I know, right? Totally worth all the people you killed to get here, huh? <laughs> I mean, kind of, yeah. Now chew slowly, because this next project might make you choke to death, and we don't want that. Oh, so that prototype I was talking about? Yeah, Nakayama actually built it. Uh, you said he never finished it. Yeah, I know I lied, but that was before we were partners. Anyway, we're gonna put it inside my original body and then upload my consciousness into it so I'd be wearing my old body, like a skin suit. It's great, right? I mean, okay. But what's this got to do with me? Hang on. Yeah, I'm getting to that. All right, now the one problem was how to get the endoskeleton into my body without killing me first. But since I'm dead anyway, I had a way cooler idea. Are you ready for this? This is awesome. We make a shitload of these endoskeletons, we put them into the corpses of the bandits we killed, and then we upload my AI into all of them. You want to make an army of jacks? Freaking awesome, right? I mean, Hyperion troops die in battle, grab the corpse, shove an endoskeleton into it, boom, another jack. Some asshole gives you lip, boom, jackpot. Successfully wipe out a bandit camp, you turn the corpses into more jacks. Within a few months, Hyperion would have the smartest, best looking fighting force in the universe. And the best part is, Reese, baby, you're gonna be the first recipient. Huh? And now I, I know metal skeleton forcing its way into your body. Uh, scary idea. But like I said, we work so well together, your body, my brain, will change the freaking universe, baby! What the hell is wrong with you? There is no way I am doing that. Uh, detecting a little ingratitude here, Reese. I did make you present. Come on. Remember how good that pizza was? No? Well, right? If I'm being honest, backing out after you got to have your fun? Huh? Kind of a... kind of a dick move. I don't know what I ever saw in you. You're nuts. Oh, you used to worship me, kid. What the hell happened? You had it right the first time, but you know what? Knowing how you feel now just makes it that much easier to kill you. I am taking the beacon and getting out of here. This was your chance to make history, you moron. To be part of a legacy. To matter for once in your useless little life. See ya, kiddo. Oh, hell no. <laughs> We need to go. Yeah, not an option. We still don't have the beacon. Well, that's convenient. <sighs> Reese. He's not coming. You heard the announcement. Reese made his choice. Still, a promise is a promise. No one promised anyone anything. No, is <sighs> You don't know what's going on. We said we'd meet him here, so that's what we're doing. Yeah. Sometimes things are complicated. 
Once Hyperion, always Hyperion. Warning lockdown protocol in effect. Whoa! Okay, now we really have to go. Come on, hang her base this way. Do you know what you'll be right now without me? <laughs> Nothing! Nobody turns their back on me unless they want me to sink an axe into it, you ungrateful shit! Oh, I am not gonna forget this. Fiona, Sasha, Bond, they're all dead. Anyone you've ever cared about is gonna meet their pathetic end with my hands around their throats, squeezing the life out of them. And once they're dead, I'm going to make them my flesh bots. And you're gonna watch as your best friends tear you limb from freaking limb. Oh, my body. It hurts inside my body. Okay, so I'm guessing the president thing didn't go over so well. That's, that's fine. Yeah, that's just fine. Ow. Reese, we got a problem. Oh, cool, dude. Add it to the list. The hangar bay door's just locked tighter than a bully monk's jaw. The caravan ain't going nowhere. Awesome. That's awesome. Okay, uh... I'll override it at the power core. Just give me a minute to get my ribs. Ooh, okay. <sighs> okay. I can do this. You're not doing shit. That? Well, hello, Yvette. I can't believe you shocked me, asshole. After all we've been through, little prick. I can't believe we were friends. Whoa, 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 whoa. You betrayed me, remember? I never had you electrocuted. Wow, wow, we're just <laughs> really hung up on that specific act. What, what about you trying to kill me? You're never gonna make it. Get used to that idea. Cool, cool. I'll just put that in my back pocket. It was really fun catching up a vet. Have a great life being an awful person. Okay, bye. Come on! This way! Hey, kiddos! Daddy's home! What's going on? Yes, dare to dream. It's me, Handsome Jack, your favorite. I'm back in the digital flesh, baby. And I need you to help me find my very good friend. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Hey, everybody. You remember that guy, Reese, the new president, the less handsome guy? Well, he's just done so freaking well at his new job that I'm just going to throw him a big old fat party in my office with all my friends and whatnot, but I I just can't find him. But I, I just can't find the guy. So if you see him, why don't you do Uncle Jack a favor and bring him to me, huh? No rush. No, actually, scratch that. Big rush. Just can't wait to see the guy, you know? I just love him so much. Is that Gentle Jim? That Gordis? Is Handsome Jack. Oh, what did I say? We need to get to the hangar bay. Now. Hey, you idiot! You look like the kind of moron that hangs out with middle management. Do you know where he sends? I, uh... Is he the one with the glasses? Oh, it's... Or... Yes, but... <laughs> Time to go! Yeah, you know, even though it's full of flesh-eating monsters, Pandora suddenly feels a lot safer than here. Good luck with that. Hello, ladies. Great. So, how are things? Still alive, I see. Well done. Uh, just a quick quest for you both. Where the hell is Reese? 
I got every single Helios employee looking for that ass clown. So save him some major calf strain and turn him in already. Last I heard, he was in your old office. Uh, trust me, Cupcake, he ain't in there. Otherwise, I'd be inside him. Let's go, Fiona. He can't touch us. Well, you are just 100% right about that, Pumpkin. I can't, but my guards and their bullets sure can, and a shit ton of them are heading to you right now. Could get messy. So in the essence of saving on cleanup costs, why don't we just figure this out together, huh? I mean, I'll be straight with you. Reese is definitely gonna die, but you don't have to. I mean, I don't care enough about you to kill you. I'll never help you, Jack. You're a murderer. Hey, subjective. But you know what's not subjective is that you need me to get off this frickin' space station. Hangar bay doors are all locked up, sweetheart. Remember? Oh, here are my guards. Now remember, you had a chance to avoid this next part. You think on that while you're headbutting bullets. A lot of monitors in this place. Whoa. Okay, I can do this. Just gotta hack into the central systems, reverse the lockdown, and get the hell out of here. <laughs> no problem. Hero Jack, but I gotta shut you down. Uh, never meet your heroes, kid. They're all dicks. Every last one of them. All right, Jack. You want to shut me out of the computer systems? Fine. Then I'll go right to the source. Let's see how long you survive without a power core. <laughs> I am glad you're out of my brain, so I can finally kill you. Back off, Reese. Don't you even try to shut me down. Uh, you know what? Your puny little body isn't worth all this trouble. Seriously. Core venting process initiated. It's gonna be way more fun watching you get vented into space. Oh shit, that's bad. That's really, 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 really bad. Warning. Airlocks in the accounting sector. Failing. 57 accountants vented into space. Oh, you're gonna kill me with that lightning rod? I'm made of electricity, you idiot. <laughs> you didn't actually think it would be that easy, did you, idiot? Power core damage reaching critical. Enjoy your last few seconds of not being dead. Stand by for core ventilation in three, two, one. No, 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 no! Core ventilation in progress. Oh, have you learned nothing? I may not exist in this current form, baby, but I'm a legend, kid. And unlike you, when you're gone, it's for good. Yeah, I know. Heavy, right? You twirl on that one for a bit. Without me, you're nothing. Just a sad, silent vacuum of space 
These idiots. Hey, August, we got problems. Hangar door shut a few minutes ago. The whole base is on lockdown. Well, find a way to get them open. Of course, just think about it harder. That never even occurred to me. Yeah, but what about the beacon? Relax, okay? I've got it. When I ask you a question, you better have an answer. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. Come on, Gordis, you should wait in the van. It's dangerous out here. Oh, uh, okay. You don't really strike me as the caring type. No, you got me all wrong, Fiona. I describe myself as caring too much. Gotta keep this girl safe. Thanks, I guess. Hey! No, stay away! Stop! Hey, big man. This pistol may not have the stopping power for you. Unless you want to see your friend's brains all over the wall? <laughs> I'd ease up. I knew this was gonna happen. Only a matter of time before you'd show your true colors. What can we say? Valerie's got a different plan. Fire up the engines, August. Got a jet once those doors open. We'll take care of this. Yeah. Right. I don't... even know what to say to you. Don't look at me like that. I always knew you were just a mama's boy. Hey, that's enough out of you. Afraid to make decisions by yourself, August? Come on! Away from the ship! <clears throat> Wait. What is this? Look, dude. Don't do this, man. This was always the plan. You knew that. Plans change. No time to dwell on it. You didn't fail anyone, okay? Warning. Helios planetary orbit compromised. Please calmly make your way to the nearest emergency pod and away hey, further. Asshole! So that guy Reese, I wanted we to, have to, to get you survive. out of here. Well, he just sent this tin can on the crash course for Pandora. This is what happens when you don't follow directions. No! Follow the grandparents and lock up the kids. These, um, containment suits should protect us, right? Radiation, yeah. Burning up in the atmosphere and crashing into Pandora, no. Wait your turn, Frick. Find Gordis. Keep her safe. After I find my sister. Gorgeous. Of course. Loader 
Loderbot! Loderbot, are you there? Yes. Oh, awesome. Okay, buddy, I'm in a tight spot. Where is your location? Oh, just hanging out in the power core. And I, uh, kinda need to be rescued. Again? I will be right there. Oh, yes. Loaderbot. You are very needy. We have to stop meeting like this. I give more than I get from this relationship. Oh, you won, buddy. Really? You owe me more than one. Yeah, that's probably probably more accurate. Impact imminent. To the escape pods. Let's go. Most of the escape pods have been deployed. Well, that's a death trap. Shit. Come on. Come on, come on. There's gotta be something. What the hell you think you're doing exactly, Reese? Because, spoiler alert, they're all gone! <laughs> what do you think? We installed enough bots for the whole base? <laughs> you have any idea how expensive that would be? God, you're an idiot. No getting out of this one! Oh yeah, that's real cute. Yeah, that's a real great use of whatever time you got left. Oh, I'll be so happy when you're gone. I Me? Mean, gone? <laughs> I'll never be gone. I'm a freaking legend, kiddo, in case you haven't been paying attention. I'm immortal. <laughs> There's one! <laughs> How's that feel, huh? No, 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 that's not happening. Nope! Sorry! <laughs> oh, it is not gonna be that easy. No way. We're in this together, Reese. If you think I'm gonna let you leave me, <laughs> guess again. Oh, that, that's funny. Look at him go. Oh, he's so happy. No, no, no. Stop. I can pay you. Whatever you want. He's not interested in money, you moron. You can't take it with you, as the saying goes. Sorry, bro. Hey, hey, stop. Oh, 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 man, come on, dude. Great! Another idiot's joined the party. Hey, you're gonna die, dude. Yeah, you're all gonna die, you idiot. Calculating the chances <laughs> of our survival. He is right. Probability of death is high. This is here, punk! Well, we are taking out Hyperion. <laughs> I guess I can think of worse ways to go. Uh... We have to go. Whoa! Hey! Get, Get back, back here. here! Oh, where do you think you're going? There. Mm-mm. You ain't getting away this time. Yeah. What he said. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop. We both can't fit in that. I know. Wait, 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 Lo Loaderbot, no! Come on! Loaderbot, no! 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 In a world you've grown Few more years to go Don't let the hurdle fall So be the girl you love So show me why you're strong Ignore everybody else We're alone now Oh wait So show me why you're strong Ignore everybody else We're alone now Suddenly I'm hit It's the darkness of the dawn and your friends are gone And your friends won't come So show me where you fit So show me where you fit